Flush trimming router bits are great for lots of different applications in the home workshop. To understand how they work, I want to show you these three types of flush trim bits. First, this is the most common kind. It has a bearing on the end that's exactly the same diameter as the cutters of the bit itself. That's the hallmark of flush trim router bits, that the bearing is the same diameter as the cutters. This is another kind of flush trim. It has the bearing on the shaft. It's useful for following templates and patterns when you're cutting incised work, like mortises and, and shapes and things like that. This is an unusual sort of flush trim bit in that there's a bearing at both ends, at the nose and on the shaft. This is the ideal bit for template routing, where you're going to be dealing with wood that changes direction. But right now, I want to show you how you use an ordinary flush trim bit with a bearing on the end to solve a typical woodworking problem that you're going to run into time and time again. This is a pretty typical butt joint. And when I assembled it, I was sure to have one piece, this top piece here, overlapping slightly the piece underneath of it. So this is sticking out proud of the face. And of course, I want it perfectly flush in the final assembly. So this is where the flush trim bit comes in handy. The key to making this work is to have the router bit adjusted for the right depth. And that means having the bearing riding against the surface that you want the bit to follow so that the cutters will remove everything that exists beyond the surface that the bearing is running on. Flush trimming router bits have many uses in the home shop, but if you want to start using them, this kind of application is an excellent way to get going.